Everybody. hope you're having a wonderful day just got done washing the Tahoe getting that winter's yuck off of it I'm gonna be hitting it with some poly wax at the while I've never tried poly wax and I'm gonna hit it at the while I probably won't do a video on it this time you know the poly wax is made by Griots there's a lot of good reviews on YouTube Brian with Fab Automotive Detailing he does a great one I'm gonna be putting it on there and I got my Dino Wax oh, no I'm sorry this is not the Dino Wax this is the Meguiar's Hot Shine on the tires because I wanted this to pop a little bit today. Normally I don't like a, a real brilliant brilliant finish on my tires except you know like when I go to a car show or something. But this has been so dirty and this is our daily driver. I wanted to show it some love today. So I got it all washed and cleaned up, dried, windows clean, got the inside wiped down and everything, vacuumed out really good. But the purpose of today's video is not all that. The purpose of today's video is this. Let me get you turned around and show you. See how that's starting to turn yellow? Not clear. It's like that on both sides. So what I'm going to be doing is using Meguiar's Plastics. You can buy this at any auto zone, um, Advance Auto, Walmart, about any car care place carries it, uh, O'Reilly's or anybody. I've used it before, I know how it works, but I wanted to do a complete review on it and show you guys from beginning to end. Meguiar's Plastics and I'm, all I'm going to be using is two shop towels so I'm going to be using one to put it on with one to take it off with now it says on the front that this is new and improved I don't know what the old one was like because I never tried it it's clear plastic cleaner and polish in one removes cloudiness, yellowing, oxidation and fine scratches now even faster great for headlights now on the back of it it says apply a small amount of product on a foam applicator pad or terry cloth towel one headlight at a time, rub thoroughly in the plastic headlight, avoid painted surfaces. Wipe off residue with clean microfiber or terry cloth towel before product dries. For moderate to severe oxidation and cloudiness, use Meguiar's Headlight Restoration Kit. Now, as you can see, this is pretty dirty. And you can see I take my nail and, and run over it and it's not taking it off, so it's not dirt. Hear it? So, I mean, it's, it, I could probably scratch a little bit of it off, just like if I was sanding it but here we go I've already done a test pass on this I mean not a test pass a test spot and I said you know I need to do a video on this I haven't really done a video on it so let's do it as you can see my rag this is where I made the test spot over here on the side so let's get to it a little dab it says do one head at a time but it's like 60 degrees here today and the wind is blowing really fat hard so I hope you can hear me okay but I am not doing the whole headlight I'll do a little section at a time and then wipe it off and then redo I mean do another section and go from there but as you can see as I start to put it on it's already making a world of a difference now if your headlights was really dirty real real yellow I would suggest getting Griot's headlight restoration kit or something like that that has the sandpaper and the clear coat that you put on it all right wipe it off before it dries and already look at that difference night and day difference before and after let me slide you over so you can see it 
before and after night and day difference so let's get to the rest of it nice beautiful day like i said i've already got the tahoe washed and everything so i'm just outside and enjoying it and i figured well i hadn't done the, this and i noticed that it was getting yellow and i told the wife oh well, heck i hadn't done a video on it so let's do one so let's go over to this area now now something else i could use i've got a little three inch polisher I could use that which would spin a lot quicker a lot more aggressive and everything but just doing this by hand so i can show you how good it works because not everybody's gonna have that three inch polisher look at what a difference that is crazy isn't it? I mean, you just saw the before shot. There's the after shot. Now it matches that. Now all I got to do is get the the bottom and the sides. It doesn't take much. A little bit like that is all I'm using. It's really too much that I'm using, but oh well. Better to have a little too much than not enough. Sorry, I just hit the microphone. I'm not doing this any specific particular way it doesn't say you need to so I'm not doing it I'm not doing it around in circles I'm not doing it straight back I'm just doing it as you can see there's no special tools required there's no special high dollar microfiber towels used just some old top shop towels you can use or shop rags you could use washcloths from out of the house whatever you want to do look at that how good that looks I'm gonna hit this spot right here just a little bit more I probably got enough left in the rag yep like I said I could probably make this look hundred percent better than what I'm doing already if I would have started off with a my three inch polisher but I didn't so look at that wow it's you know you, you can stand in the aisles at these stores reading all these supposed product reviews and all it is is product reviews from the manufacturer it's always good to try to find somebody that has actually used the product and watch real-time reviews rather than some special conditions you know humidity is this and all that stuff so where you can see it real world happening look at that holy moly I gotta get this and this side. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. All right. I've got one spot on this headlight where somebody hit it with a buggy, of course. So there's nothing I'm gonna be able to do about that. Now, how long will this last? I have no idea. <laughs> we'll find out together. I will try to remember to give you update videos to show how well it's lasting and everything. And that way you can make your decision on whether you want to try it or not. But this was only like $10. So $10 compared to a $50 to $100 kit for sanding and polishing and all that stuff. And it does this good a job five minutes worth of elbow grease why would you want to spend that hundred dollars if you don't have to use it for something else another great car part or another great detailing product right <laughs> now, like i said is it going to be like brand new no can you tell a difference well yeah duh <laughs> Sorry I got the sniffles today, but I've been inside and it's been cold and raining and wet. And I'm trying to catch a cold. Figures, doesn't it? 
But I'm gonna get you down off the tripod and I'm gonna show you this side, I'm gonna show you that side, and then we'll do the other side. All right, I put you right in front of, hopefully I don't knock the camera over or knock the crap out of while I'm doing this and trying to talk to you. But again, I wanted you to see it real time. That way you could see what a night and day difference this does make. I'll do this side first, this section, and I'll do that section now. I'm gonna do this section first. I'll stop and let you see the before and after. You see the before now, but you'll be able to compare them side by side. That's why I'm doing it. Hopefully I don't knock the crap out of the camera. Again, all I'm using is Plastex by McGuire's and the polish. Again, no special tools, no special humidity, no special shop lights, no special nothing. Just a little elbow grease, a little bit of cheap product. And I keep hitting the freaking microphone on the camera, so now I got that left handed. And you just heard it fall into the ground, of course. <laughs> Dry, shop towel, shop rag. Wipe it off before it dries. I don't know what would happen if it were dry on there. I'm not going to be the guinea pig to find that out unless I just had an old plastic headlight laying around, which I do not. But let's look at the before and the after. There's the before and there's the after. I know, I've got you tilted and everything, but I can't help you on the tripod across my leg, so. But there's the after and there's the before. You can see that it makes a world of difference. A world of difference. So I'm going to change the, I'm going to put the camera back a little bit so I can get to the rest of it. There you go. Look at what a difference that made. Night and day difference. And like I said, is it 100% clear like brand new? No. But it is 100% better than what it was, right? I think all of you would agree with that. There's that side. And there's that side. Whole, whole lot better. Look at that. Woo. Now the headlight matches the rest of it. Nice and clear. Or nice and clean. And we pay so much for these things. You know, this thing was very expensive new when we bought it. And wow, it's held up very well. But why would I want to not take care of it? Be like throwing thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars out the window, right? But let me show you something else real quick. Next up is going to be this bad boy. And I put up a video where I cleaned it the, uh, I don't know, week and a half, two weeks ago. And it still looks fairly clean. It's not though, it is dirty. We've had some rain showers and stuff since then, but it'll be easy to clean. And then I'm gonna hit it with the um, Dino Wax that my good friend Jeremy Nasty2SS, him and his wife Holly sent me. I actually won it in a contest they had. What super great people, guys. I mean, what super great people. But uh, it's called Express Wax, I think is the name of it. It's their yellow wax product. It goes on real simple. You can do the whole car. Let it set for a few minutes or you can come right back around and start wiping it off and it does really really good puts a heck of a shine on it but what i want to show you about this is i've been teasing about these for the last year and it has been one thing after another after another i've had the wheels it took me almost a year to get the tires i thought it'd just take a couple months but nope almost a year and as you can see i have them sitting in the car all locked up i'm not going to show you exactly what they look like yet I want to wait, get the car cleaned up. I'm going to paint my calipers because you'll be able to see them real good once I uh, put these wheels and tires on it. But that's forthcoming within the next couple days. I'm going to get that done. And 
as I always tell you guys about this particular car, 214,000 miles and never an issue, I've had my first issue. The alternator bearing started acting up on me. The alternator is still charging fine. Let me get you turned around. The alternator is charging fine. Sorry. <laughs> but the bearing is squealing like a stuck pig. So the alternator is just going to either number one, overheat, catch on fire. The bearing is going to lock up, eat a belt. I don't want that. So it's going to sit here for a day or two while I get the alternator. And during that time, I will get the the, the tires and wheels put on, the calipers painted, and cleaned up. But here's what I wanted to show you. Getting everything ready to put out for spring. My wife's peace poles. Those go out front. But how do you know... Hold on. How do you know a true car guy, right? You're going to like this one. You're going down the road minding your own business and then you see somebody mowing grass on the side of the road and you like watch out for them you know and then you're like well that was different and what am i talking about the guy's lawnmower is as clean as his car i mean look at that <laughs> yeah i'm a true car guy well, I, I like all my stuff clean i got to do the uh push mower next the wife used it the other week in the mud and got it all dirty and everything but that's all right be easy to clean up because it is waxed yes it's waxed believe it or not so that all that shit just rinse right off as is this is waxed i put the uh, griots all in one sealer on this last year and look at it i mean wow all i did was wash it and dry it off and look at how clean it came and then i, I put some uh dino wax tire shine on the, the tires because it goes on like a matte finish and then it's dry to the touch instantly and i put it on the the black trim the black trim too but look at that <laughs> that's how you tell a freaking nut <laughs> yes i'm a nut but look at that shine oh my goodness look at how good that looks i mean come on twenty four hundred dollar nine more why would i not take care of it fifty thousand dollar tahoe why would i not take care of it forty three thousand dollar camaro why would i not take care of it twenty three thousand dollar camaro why would I not take care of it? If I wouldn't, and these things would rot and fall apart and the engine go bad and all that stuff, you know, the front end fall out of it, I'd be taking twenty to fifty thousand dollars and just throwing it out the freaking window. You don't want to do that. Get out there and maintain them cars. Get out there and wash them. Make them shine. Make the world a brighter place. Let me get this out of the way. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't realize it was sticking there. But anyhow, that's my microphone that my good buddy Brian um, Mojave KY on YouTube sent me. But get out there and make those cars shine. Make it a brighter place. It needs to be a brighter place right now, guys. Oh, God. But well, you can tell I'm doing my part. Look at that Tahoe. Oh, my goodness. Until next time, get out there and enjoy your cars. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that subscribe. Hit that thumbs up, please, that like button. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.